Hello everyone and welcome to the Raspberry Pi tutorial series. In this tutorial we're going to look at how to set up the Raspberry Pi. This tutorial will focus on setting up the Raspberry Pi connected to a monitor. You will need the following components. We will need our Raspberry Pi, a card adapter and a micro SD card. It is recommended to use an SD card with at least 32 GB of storage. Make sure you have a proper USB-C power adapter, able to output 27 watts. For the keyboard and mouse, you can use any type you want, wired, wireless or Bluetooth. Insert the micro SD card into adapter and plug the adapter in your computer. On your computer, head on over to raspberrypi.com forward slash software and download the Raspberry Pi imager. Install it on your computer and click finish to run the Raspberry Pi imager. Now choose the Raspberry Pi device. I am using the new Raspberry Pi 5, so I will select it. For the operating system, we will choose the Raspberry Pi OS 64-bit. Then select your storage, which is the micro SD card connected to your computer. Then press next. You will then have the option to customize the operating system, which we will do later, so we will just select now. It will give you a warning that all your existing data on the SD card will be removed. Just click on yes. The operating system will then be written to the SD card. Once finished, it will prompt that the write was successful and that you can remove the SD card. Then we can plug in the SD card into our Raspberry Pi. And connect the micro HMI, power and keyboard and mouse to the Raspberry Pi. And press the power button located here. We can now go through the process to set up the operating system. We first will select our country, language and time zone. I will select the use English language and US keyboard. Since the country I'm located in is China and I don't want anything to be in Chinese. We then can create our user login. Next we will connect to the Raspberry Pi to the Wi-Fi network. You then have the option to select your browser which by Chromium and Firefox are pre-installed. We will leave Chromium as default. We will enable Raspberry Pi Connect that we can remotely access the Raspberry Pi from any other computer. This will be discussed in more detail in a later tutorial. We then want to update the operating system and applications. Our setup is complete and we can restart our Raspberry Pi. It will then boot up and show this welcome screen. And in a few seconds afterwards, you'll be on your home screen. I would recommend you to test your micro SD card read and write speed which you can do from the operating system. Click on a Raspberry Pi icon and go to accessories and click on a Raspberry Pi diagnostics. Then press run test. The results will show as a pass or fail and you can also access the log to see the test results. Now that our Raspberry Pi is set up, we can start doing cool projects in electronics, which we will do in future tutorials. So make sure to subscribe so not to miss out on that. I will see you in the next video.